Good evening, it's Pastor Trish, and we are on Psalm 23 this evening. This psalm, of course, is one of, if not the most, I think, beloved and certainly well-known psalms in the entire Psalter. Psalm 23, we uh, know much of it by heart. We hear it regularly. It is often a psalm prayed at funerals, of course, but it is a psalm that has meaning for us at so many times in our lives. It can have power as we pray to God for comfort, as we give thanks to God for all of the ways in which God walks with us. It's just, as you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful psalm. Tonight, I decided I'm going to read you a story a story about the psalm. It's a, it is one of the psalms attributed to King David, particularly because, of course, King David started out as a shepherd boy. And so that metaphor, that imagery of Jesus as our good shepherd, as God, as our shepherd, um, watching over the sheep would have made a lot of sense to David, to people in ancient Israel, but it still makes sense for us today as well, doesn't it? We just love that imagery. And so instead of praying the psalm that you know so well or one of those translations, I, see if I can show that to you. This is the book I'm going to use. Yep, it's a storybook. It's a story about David and how David relied on the good shepherd. And then within the story, there is a paraphrase of Psalm 23. So I invite you to just sit back, relax on this beautiful, beautiful evening and um, feel God's love and God's grace wash over you. Uh, listen to, uh, think about some of that imagery as you listen to the story of being in the pasture, in the green pastures beside the still waters on a beautiful day with clear blue sky and just a few clouds. Just enjoy the imagery and the metaphor for a few moments as we hear this story called The Good Shepherd. By the way, this particular story is based on Psalm 23, also has a few tidbits that come from Psalm 51 and 2 Samuel chapter 7. If you're wondering where some of the other words come from. So here we go. David was a shepherd, but when God looked at him, he saw a king. Sure enough, when David grew up, that's just what he became. And David was a great king. He had a heart like God's heart, full of love. Now, that didn't mean he was perfect because he did some terrible things. He even murdered a man. No, David made a big mess of his life. But God can take even the biggest mess and make it work in his plan. I need a new heart, Lord, David prayed, because mine is full of sin. Make me clean inside. God heard David's prayer and he forgave David and he made David a promise. I will make you great, David, and one day a king will be born into your family and he will heal the whole world. Did you know that David was a songwriter too? In fact, his songs were so good, they might have been in the top 40 charts if that had been invented then. David's songs, as we know, are like prayers. They're called Psalms. And this one is called the Song of the Shepherd. It's probably number one on the Psalm charts. And it goes like this. God is my shepherd and I am his little lamb. He feeds me, he guides me, he looks after me, and I have everything I need. Inside, my heart is very quiet, as quiet as lying still in soft green grass in a meadow by a little stream. Even when I walk through the dark, scary, lonely places, I won't be afraid because my shepherd knows where I am. He is here with me. He keeps me safe, he rescues me, he makes me strong and brave. He's getting wonderful things ready for me, especially for me, everything I ever dreamed of. He 
He fills my heart so full of happiness, I can't hold it all inside. Wherever I go, I know God's never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever, love. Love will go too. God gave David that song to sing to his people so they could know that he loved them and would always look after them, like a shepherd loves his sheep. And one day, God is going to do something that would inspire thousands upon thousands of new songs. God was going to show his people once and for all just how much he loved them. Another shepherd was coming, a greater shepherd. He would be called the Good Shepherd. And this shepherd was going to lead all of God's lambs back to the place where they had always belonged, close to God's heart. You know that shepherd as well, the good shepherd, the great shepherd. And I pray that tonight that great shepherd, that Jesus Christ will be with you and uh, you will feel God close to you in your heart. Have a good evening.